Hello, this is Any Jake with another Let's Play of Zombie Army Trilogy Beyond Berlin, The Keep. So, last time I died a bunch of times due to annoying circumstances concerning a group of s summoners and snipers. And at the end of it all, I just got fed up and just wiped them all out. Um, another thing, Preacher probably should have grabbed this. I did. And for now, I guess I'll keep it. That was another thing, and that was about it. So far, no comments on this, on any of the previous videos, but hey. Well, it comments about it, more correctly. But for now, let us enter the world of the keep. Anyway, summon the preacher ammo. I should not have wasted that ammo. I recognize it was a stupid thing to do, but it was a good place to actually use the preacher as it's meant to be used. Unfortunately, I will never be finding preacher ammo except apparently on this guy. No. Woohoo! I think I'm just getting rid of the preacher anyway, as soon as I just used it up, but who I might actually keep it. And that is gross. Just gross. And well, at least it's in there, but I mean gross. For shame. You should always have a clean kitchen. For shame. Now search this corpse. Okay, rifle ammo. And just the usual kick and lose I usually do in close quarter combat. And wait, how did you not get your head blown up? Did you really dodge at the last duck at the last second, dude? If so, admittedly, kudos to you. But didn't last too long, did you? Did it? Ah. All right, so let's see which behind. It's behind fridge number one. A Weebly, which for some reason I automatically picked up. And a skeleton with a cowboy hat, with a noose, as in he was hung till dead. And behind fridge number two. Creepy skulls. With compressed air. A part of every. Balanced corpse. And now, the great search for more ammo. And boy, are these zombies slobs. They're leaving their corpses all over the place. And now, it's behind door number one Meat Locker. Well, at least it's traditional. And what's behind door number two? Other Meat Locker. Just as meaty as the last one. But seriously, these zombies need to pick up after themselves. They're leaving corpses everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. I can't help myself sometimes. Wow. Whoa. You think you can stop me? Plan B cannot be stopped. Oh dear. Well, first, kill the skulls for whatever reason they're here. I actually never found out why the skulls are here. I'm guessing there's some sort of protective charm. Protect protective charms or something like that for constant resurrection, but... I never bothered. I always just first kill the skulls, then kill the zombies. But yeah. My days of kicking and killing are over. I have to kick and shoot. So sad. Oh, that's why they're there. Well, I knew I had to get rid of the skulls. Clanker again! Yeah, always aim for the top of the... the skull, actually. That's how you do it.
And look at this portrait of Hitler. Wait, where? One dead. Two dead. Three dead's bull? Seriously, are you going to let survive, dude? Seriously, please? It appears so. Hopefully, you'll help me later on. Woohoo. I saved someone. And I kick in. I kick you down and I rob you. Oh, preacher ammo, yes! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The preacher has ammo and will kick this demonic zombie ass. Alright, I now have six whole bullets in the preacher. If that's not irony. Well, I'm pretty sure that's still irony. <sighs> I was going to say, that's not irony, I'm, I don't know what is, but... I do know what irony is, I'm pretty sure it's ironic, and if I'm not... If, and if I'm wrong, then I guess I really need to brush up on the definition of irony. Alright, that was a waste of ammo. No, oh, well, it's one bullet. Hopefully it won't hurt too badly. And you're going to do the whole... Well, that whole bit. Oh, no. Yep, that's right, folks. We have both a, py a pyro zombie and a brute at the same time. Yes, my wildest nightmares have come true. I hate this so much. If you can't tell, I am doing my very best not to scream. But, as long as I take care of all the other zombies, And then, the Brute, I should be fine, except I don't think I can if I remember correctly. I think it's an infinite wave until this guy's dead. In which case, I'm in some serious trouble, folks. Will I survive? Hopefully. Don't know, to be honest. Um, yep, come on, dude, come out, and no. Nope. Come on, run, 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 run! Thank God my guy's a great pair of lungs and legs on him. Otherwise, I would have died a long time ago. Alright. Well, that's all the preacher I'm using for this guy. Sorry. I don't want to waste it completely. All right. Well, let's kill all these zombies. This way I don't have to deal with them as much. But no, nope, more zombies take their place. Mm. Woohoo! Which means now I just have to kill these guys. And they won't be replaced automatically. And now the problem is apparently I cannot kill them for some reason. Because my aim is been has been off. But that has just been resolved. God bless America. And all the living in their constant fight against this demonic undead. Nazis. Bloody Nazis. There's always Nazis. Alright, well. Now, on to the next.
portion of this place. That is an achievement right there, folks. Seriously. It's called... It's called uh, Zero Over Zero Blood Pressure. Ah, uh, yes. Well, that was that. Check anything here. Please, oh god, give me some more preacher ammo. I need it badly. And nope. Landmines, though, would have been nice. I didn't use any, though, so still full. Um, checking this bookshelf. No, I'm full on grenades. And now, let's open the door to what appears to be a classroom. It's not, of course, but come on, it kind of looks like a classroom. A traditional classroom, of course. Oh! Woohoo! The Shaper Expedition reports success. When we gather the remaining materials, we will be ready to begin! Success, my deputies, is inevitable. Now, return to your duties. Well, we saw where he went through the painting. A traditional trick. Though a good one. However, his painting is very self centered. And ah ha, the clock fell off to show the um safety room. Aha. And now For the next safe room. My work for the Fuhrer is almost complete. Once I find the first uh, volunteer, I can power up the machine. It will be a revolution in communication. Our enemies will finally realize the sense of our Fuhrer's vision and accept his leadership. I wonder what, for, what form of advanced communication this is. Hmm. Well, pretty sure we'll find out. Yep. Yeah, interesting. Two different things for snipers, though. Oh, there's the. There's that ammo. Alright, well. Should I, well, actually, should I really bother with this? I mean, it's not going to really matter, I don't think. So, I will think I'll just leave them in here to rot for the rest of eternity. Unless I blow this place up. I'm going to blow this place up, let's face it. I've blown up everything else, why not this place? And that wouldn't have been a very good stopping point. So, we'll continue on. Ah, yes. Blood being used as a form of a lubricant. Not the best lubricant. Seriously, it's actually not. However, I'm not sure about its qualifications when it comes to conducting electricity. Yeah, I think because of the uh, both water content, plasma, and, uh, and copper, that it would actually be very good at conducting blood, though I have no clue because of how it's bonded together. I regret to inform you, I've never actually taken chemistry classes. Wait, is this the communication apparatus? If so... What? Okay, this is a generator. That makes sense. It generates electricity. However, I don't know what this machine is, oh, but it can't be good. <laughs> Generator. That's all it is. That's all this machine is—is is a generator. And I why are you hooked up to it? I'm connected to. Everything that goes on in this park, if I can hold out just a little longer, together we can find a way to destroy this place. Are you supposed to be an AI for this? For this? I mean, an initial 
1940s version of an AI for a smart house? If so, that's not that bad of an idea in theoretics. Um, of course, when it comes to actual practice and just the whole madness and ethical I'm dilemmas, yeah. The doors now. When it comes to when it comes to ethics, it's horrible, but. Okay, so, there Around that can destroy this machine. Search every room. Oh, no, 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 I'm not dying here. No, 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 no. I am not dying. No. Yeah. Overall, for a initial idea of creating an AI. Clever. Or, an, or a um, smart house. Clever. Morally? Idiotic. Also in practice. Also idiotic. Mostly because the smart house could probably kill its residents. Which, obviously, the smart house is trying. Also, investigate dubious bookcase. You know it means something when it says dubious. Like that. <laughs> And yet, I'm pretty sure there was a gold bar in here at one point. But for now, there's nothing. And now to the top of this tower. Why? Because I love top of tower. Tower tops. And Caligula. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I always shudder whenever I even hear or say his name. Creepiest Roman Emperor ever. No! Seriously? No! Another de another life okay, bites the dust. Killing you would probably do it. But I won't. Not yet anyway. Unless you bake me to. Well, I probably won't kill you unless you bake me to. The doors now. Whoa! Where did you pop from? That's right. I got to his heart through his ass. Pervy? Yes! Effective? Also yes. Yeah. Ah yes, the beautiful joys of kicking your head off, ki kicking your enemies' heads off, works every time. Now back up again to show you the wonders of this quote unquote place, and quote unquote wonders as well. Just a clarify. Ha! Anyway, Caligula, most notably known for fighting in the rings, debauchery, lust, having sex with an dead animals that he freshly killed, killed, and also being one of the shortest lived emperors of Rome, mostly because everyone hated him. Gang Biscot. Or Duplicon. I'm not sure which one, which one of the cons this is supposed to be, but basically, destroy village, destroy villages, pillage, plundered, raped, murdered, the whole shebang. Did what basically everyone else did throughout history in order to survive. But he was successful, and thus he was hated. Um, this one is. I have no real clue. Um, Nero. Wrongfully hated, actually. Most people think he purposely set fire to Rome. It was a con it was a reclamation project that went out of hand, and he consulted all the signs. Everyone said it was going to be good. They were going to be burning down some slums to build better and nicer houses, and the fire. And uh, when they set the fire, a giant gust of wind randomly came up. It wasn't even the season for that, by the way. 
and it burned down Rome. He then spent the rest of his life, short life by the way, well, short overall, all, all life trying to rebuild Rome with stone, which then ran Rome bankrupt, and thus, well, a lot of other problems happened which led to the fall of Rome. Mind you, Rome is going to fall eventually anyway, just because they lost what it meant to truly be Roman and everything else, but, and they just lost their set, and turned a bunch of other major, both political problems, military problems, corruption, and just other bad juju. Either way, Nero has always gotten a bad rap for something that honestly was not overall his fault. Mind you, he wasn't a saint either, but overall, he doesn't deserve at the bad a, as bad a rap as he gets. Come on! Show me your heart already, one of you. Come on! Nope. Yeah, once again, the problem is you have to aim for their heart, which is right there. It's a pain. Come on. No, no. Oh, no. Come on. There we go, with one. And now another. Also, if you're thinking, uh, really, they're wearing suits of armor like in the Middle Ages and all that, no one ever did that? Well, they were actually last used during World War One. so ha. And this is just sad and kind of funny. For Eva Braun and Lynn Short Hitler. Ah, how cute. And sad. And funny at the same time. Ha ha ha. Uh, life's good. For me, anyway. Everyone else can suck it. <laughs> Sorry that's wrong with me to say. Alrighty though, and well, why in your room you have a stack of Mosin ammo? I don't know, but I thank you. Oh no. Oh wait, no, you're a brave old guy, so which means I can just decapitate you without any problems. Hallelujah. I love me so uh, myself some good old fashioned decapitation. And preacher ammo again! Yes! Exactly what I needed. Alright, hold to hold to approach altar. Oh dear. Yep. The altar would actually kill me if I stood there, by the way. It is a very deadly altar. But hey. No, that's what happens, and wait, did you get your head cut off by a spade? It appears so. Well, I guess that's what you have for having a demonic altar in your room, if this is your room. Yep. Weirdness. Okay, well, I've admired all that. Pick up explosive. Uh, keep looking for more explosives like that. Sure. Once again, overall this castle in its heyday would have been... I, you can tell, is actually quite beautiful. Unfortunately, it's kind of gone to hell. And the denizens of it like it that way. <laughs> and if any of you kind of got that wordplay joke, God bless you. If those of you that don't, um, it's... Devils and that kind of stuff are... It's Heavenly Hosts and the Denizens of Hell type of thing. So, that's the joke there. And, yeah. Alright. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. I'm not dealing with this again. Yes. Oh, that was nice and quick. Don't do it. Let's go in this room. Besides the pole bit of ash coming out of walls, everything seems perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Once again. Oh, more preacher ammo, and now I'm full on the preacher. Oh, thank you, God. Damn you, evil, but thank you, God. Alright, well. Let's go downstairs for a while.
Oh, I can hear him. Oh, no. Wow. I cannot believe I survived that, honestly. I, I really cannot. Also, um, usually there is gold in his stomach, so when you do this, there's a gold bar in there. Usually. Just letting you all know that. Ah, uh, yes. If you want a bit of a, well, lesson in torture, that is the rack. Um, just general tables. That is the press. As you can see what it's doing, it's pressing down. Um, there is also, also there was an inverse, if you're wondering, to the rack, also called the press. Though it made you go in the fetal position and squished you more more and more and more, basically compressing you into a ball until you died. Basically, your your um your bones would break and puncture all your organs. Not a good way to go. Though overall, the rack I believe was more feared than the press. Mostly because you'd survive the. Um... Wait, where is it? I hear it. Oh. Answer the phone. Whoa. Well. That's a disturbing image, and one question comes to mind. Which guy have we yet met that throws spears? That would be none of them. So, no need to worry about that. And if you're wondering why I'm going in here, it's for this last explosive. But first, always check the um, ahem, the tree. Died, died as he lived in a crappy way. Sorry, I honestly could not help myself with that joke. I mean, it's right there, begging for it. Bunch of wow, wow. Um. <laughs> oh, that's it. Now return the explosive Whoa, to nope. me. Yeah, quickly. Wait, not this explosive, ah, either? That's probably more than we need. But hang on to that just in case. Yeah. There's no reason to turn down explosives. There never is. Explosives are good. They help you blow stuff up. I know. That's a no shit Sherlock moment, but it's a oh no, no 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 ho you swine daughter of the Elzebub or mother of the Elzebub or father of the Elzebub brother whatever you are you creature of pure malice hate. You indecipherable piece of madness! You swine! I know you're all probably thinking, wow, he's acting really well with this. Well, yes, I am. Thank you for that. <sighs> or you're thinking, wow, this is getting boring. He usually dies or complains or cries a little bit more. I'm actually doing well at this. It's kind of boring to watch. Well, please don't. I mean, come on. I hate this guy so much with every fiber of my being. Not as much as I hate his other ver variation. Yes. Oh, uh, this is the death shot right here. Oh, straight through the eye. Yes. And you're dead. <sighs> that was nice. No, you stay down. Give me a clear shot this time. Go back down and do it right. Wait, did he really just phase in and out of existence? Wow. No! Stop that! I demand that you. Wow. That worked. Woohoo! Alright. 
And I'm just going to skip all of them because this place is getting blown up anyway. Ah, yes. We're actually getting more information on Plan Z. Fantastic. Anyway, I'll go over each and every one of these people later. So, except for him. I have no... Wait, that's... Leopold II. Um, honestly, I don't know anything about him. But whoever I know, I will go over. So, like if you enjoyed, please subscribe now and everything else. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Like this video. Have a good day. And... Oh, no, 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 no! Goodbye.